Hi friends, welcome back to another What I Ate Today video. I'm going to show you everything I ate in a day along with the chronometer info at the end. First thing in the morning, I drink one liter of lemon water and then I have my B12 nutrient spray. And then after my exercise, I have my fresh organic celery juice. So it was two heads of organic celery juice in the juicer, which came to about 500 milliliters of fresh juice. I drink my celery juice first and then I wait about 30 minutes and then make and eat my breakfast. So for my breakfast on this day, I had strawberry and chocolate banana ice cream. So I started off by adding the chopped frozen baby Thai bananas along with some frozen strawberries into the Vitamix blender and I blended that up smooth and added that half into the serving bowl. I tried to mush everything over to the one side because I'll be adding the chocolate later and then I just add that into the freezer while I blend up the chocolate portion. So then the other half of the frozen baby Thai bananas are in the blender along with the cocoa powder and then I blend that up smooth. Then I take the frozen strawberry banana ice cream out of the freezer. It didn't really freeze that much. And then I added in the chocolate banana ice cream on the other side. It's become so, so hot. We're now in the hot season in Chiang Mai, so the banana ice cream was melting so quickly and very, very fast. I added on top a few more of the frozen strawberries that I just sliced up just for a beautiful finishing touch. And there you have it, there's the final result. Super creamy, super sweet, very filling and nutritious. Then moving on to my dinner, I had a big veggie salad and some fruit. So starting off in my saucepan, I added chopped carrot, chopped broccoli, chopped cauliflower, and then also some chopped red or purple cabbage, if you might like to call it that. Then I also added in some mushrooms, two different types of mushrooms. One of them, this one here is called the oyster mushroom. I'm not exactly sure what the white type of mushroom is, but they're very rubbery and chewy and they give the dish, the salad, a really cool uh, and interesting texture and flavor. Then lastly, I added in some chopped bok choy, get in lots of greens. And then after I packed in all of my veggies into my saucepan, I added in a bit of distilled water and then I place it onto a boil. Into my salad bowl, I have some romaine lettuce, some red leaf lettuce, and also some green leaf lettuce. I gave it a bit of a stir to make sure everything was incorporated well. And then I added on top one chopped cucumber and then a few chopped tomatoes. For my dinner part one, I like to start off with some fruit. So I have four and a half apples here. The other half of that apple was gone bad, so I just chopped it off. And there I just simply chopped up my apples into the bite-sized chunks that I desired. So along to have with my apples, I wanted some of these juicy, juicy medjool dates. We finally found some really amazing ones at the farmer's market, so we've been getting these every week. So I just pitted a handful of them, it was about 100 grams, and I really, really, really enjoy these. Then once all of my veggies are steamed to perfection, they're cooked to my liking, I then dumped it out into my salad bowl, minus the water that was in the saucepan, and then I gave it a little bit of a stir just to incorporate all of the veggies well. This is my dip, my dressing. So I have some red beans, tahini, hot chili flakes, and a bit of lime juice. I blended that up, which created this delicious bean paste. You could use this bean paste as a dip, which would probably be better for most people with some raw veggies, but I just love it mushed up into the salad to create the dressing. Super, super thick and creamy. So here's my dinner part one, my apples and my dates. I enjoyed that first and then waited 10, 15 minutes. And then I tucked into my gorgeous, beautiful salad here. Of course, after the photos and pictures were all done, I then mushed it all together. Here's the chronometer info for this day. It was over 2,400 calories with 83% carbs, 8% fats, and 9% proteins. And as you can see, I hit all of my nutrient targets. The only one here missing is vitamin D, which I get from the sun. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I will see you next time.